Now that we've added the doors, we are going to create a roof on top of this garage. What we do is we in the project browser, we make our way to the roof level and double click so that we ensure that roof is active by the word roof being bold and of course at the top here in the title bar it indicates floor plan roof and we're simply going to use the roof tool but with the roof tool we have several options in this exercise we are going to choose the roof by footprint what this will allow us to do is allow us to define the perimeter of the roof to define the actual roof style and the size of the roof. Once we're in the roof command, our panel changes to a sketch mode panel. Currently pick walls is selected. Up along the top, we are going to specify a one foot overhang. And now we can go about selecting the walls. Notice we have a choice of either side of the wall. We want to ensure that we are choosing the exterior portion of the wall. And we do this by making sure our mouse is over the exterior line of the wall. We simply left click, choose the next line, uh, wall, choose the next wall. Notice how it has a less than symbol along with a 9 inch over 12 inch uh, dimension. That is actually the slope of the roof. So if you wanted to change that particular pitch of the roof, you can simply just click and change the value. We'll leave it at 9 over 12 for the time being. Then we simply click the final wall to complete the perimeter of the roof. Once we have a completely closed loop, we simply make our way back to the sketch panel and choose finish roof. Let's take a look at our roof in 3D. Make your way to the 3D view button along the top and left click. We now have a roof over our garage. But our goal here is to actually have gable ends. How do we achieve that? Well this is simple. What we do is we go back to our roof level by double clicking and we select the roof. How do we know we're on the roof? Well, if we put our mouse over an object and it turns gray, you'll notice at the bottom left-hand corner in this area that it will say basic roof generic 12 inch. If you click on the roof, it becomes highlighted with red. And up along the top, you have an edit button. By clicking edit, you're back to the original sketch that you created the roof. At this end, we're simply going to click on that magenta line and then right click and toggle slope defining. This will delete any associated angle for the roof pitch. We'll do that once again at the back of the garage. Right click, slope defining, and we simply make our way to the sketch, finish roof button, click look at the object in 3D, the garage in 3D by clicking the 3D view button up along the top and you'll notice that we now have gable roofs. But the walls didn't extend up. So in order to fill that gap it's a simple couple clicks. We select the wall <clears throat> we select the wall and as soon as we select the wall we have the options bar top base attach or detach we want to click the attach and we select the roof and it will automatically make its way up to the roof. We're going to rotate the object around using the view cube, click on any one of these surfaces and hold, click and hold and then just spin it around and we will do the same. Select the wall, the back wall with a single left click, attach and then select the roof. Notice these edges here. Once again, what we can do is we can select that wall, attach to the roof, and it will fill that gap up. If we rotate it around, we'll see that all the gaps have been filled 
except for this wall here. See there's a little gap there? So we select the right wall, attach, select the roof again, and we have completed. To view this in an isometric view, hover over the view cube and pick on the little home icon. Remember to save your work. File, Save.